a well of suffering, damaging foes and inflicting weakness every two seconds. Summon bone minions. I think we're going with that. More than likely. Bone fiend. Okay, attacks first at range, but I think we'll get the meaty ones first. Signet of Spite, Bruce Power, Bleed, and some other stuff. Fine, fine, that's good. Movement speed. Hmm. Steals health from nearby enemies. Nice. The grip from the uh, the ghost form. Probably for normal form. Weaken yourself to poison the area? No. Apply vulnerability on yourself. Spread conditions on a target foe to all nearby foes. Cool. Summon Owl. Possibly the least impressive sounding of all of those skills. Give me them bone minions. Now we're talking necromancy. Oh, gross. But awesome. But still gross. Drive the stampeding minotaurs from Borealis Forest. Okay. Let's do that. Stampeding, you say? Contribution. Event already over. Damn. So I think I'm just about done with that here. Even if I'm not thoroughly done, we go over to the Necromancer Trainer. Follow the road. Up. Level 11, not enough money. Level 40, not enough money. Level 60, not enough money. Okay, so no need to really talk to that guy. Let's go ahead and with weapons quest. Look at my little army. Isn't that nice? How oh, cool, I can explode them. Poor oh, little bastards. That was win. On so many levels. Good hey, buddy. Hunting. Fix me up. Thanks. Notice that I've lost the debuff, and that's a very quick bit of dialogue. So yeah, more of this, you know, come visit me so I can sell you stuff, malarkey. So it's a nice extra little bit of reading if you're if you're looking for more reading to do during the game. Which I'm I'm hoping you are. The, uh, the arrows here, helping leading me towards the objective, seem to constantly change depending on where you are, which is very neat. 
obviously helping you if you are taking a different route around, but you still want to find where to go. More than likely constantly measured from your current standing point through available pathways that are, that are walkable. Very much like a dead island. The spirits of the wild welcome you. Just thought I'd greet one of them for fun. Let's go into an instance version of it. See if there's any differences. I should probably be pretty glad it didn't let me jump for that because, uh, yeah, that looks like quite a distance. So, this seems to be a bit of a shopping mall upstairs from where we where we actually entered, which doesn't seem to allow me to get back down to the blacksmith. So I guess I'll head back out that exit. So yeah, I thought it was an instance version of the same place. Just goes to show I was slightly wrong. I'll have a look once I load back up. I'm sure you'll be able to see where I'm talking about. Seems to be we were sort of up there on the sides. Which is weird because there's stairs there, but I don't remember seeing them when I was doing it. Maybe there were. I knew someone like you long ago. Okay. I brought your dwarven steel, blacksmith. I also saw the bodies of the other hunters you sent. Those Jotun are worshipping the ice dragon. Bear's breath. I didn't know that. I'll take the steel off your hands, but I can't do anything about the Jotun. Though I do know someone who can. Do you know Erste Gulkin? Tall, beautiful, travels with a huge black wolf. She killed one of the Ice Dragon's strongest lieutenants. Of course, she fought beside me against Isormir, and I've heard songs of her epic deeds at several moots. She could help us. And not to be a gossip or anything. I hear she's taken quite an interest in you since the Great Hunt. In me? Why? To tell you the truth, I'm not sure. Perhaps you impressed her. In any case, ask her about these Jotun, and I'm sure she'll lend a hand. Alright, we'll do just that. But that doesn't mean we should like fight. Our resistance may play a role in the rebalance. Exactly. You have to follow our I wonder what the truth is. I'm almost certain we're heading out the same exit as before. Yeah. It's a little bit disappointing. It's having to head somewhere else, but um, maybe we still will head somewhere else after this. Good 
thinking though about maybe putting one of my other weapons in here. This has got less damage, but I'm looking to learn some more spells. Let's see what this has got on the old dagger. Necrotic slash. Slash your foe twice. Life Siphon and Dark Pact. Okay, cool. Let's give these a go. Definitely seems to be a, a point at least to playing lots of different weapon types. And I was wrong. Going straight into an instance. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can do a little bit better this time. Maybe I shouldn't have had a new weapon while trying to do a instance by myself. But I say, let battle be joined and have some fun. Hold still, Garm. You know I can't carve your image properly when you're wiggling. Oh, this stone isn't right. It'll never... What's that, Garm? Someone's coming? Very well, we'll leave this alone for now. Perhaps the next stone will be better. Sup? It's good to see you again, Slayer. You look troubled. What's wrong? I've been to the Jotun Caves near Gwalenfjord. They're worshipping the Elder Dragon, Jormag. Jotun are fanatical about their old ways. They wouldn't worship Jormag. Unless... What do you know about the Sons of Svanir? I know they're the idiots who embrace the Ice Dragon as a spirit of the wild. From what you saw, so do these Jotun. There has to be a connection. There are Sons of Svanir near Hirbat's camp. They might be involved. This is definitely worth a Slayer's attention. If you're willing, Garm and I will meet you there. Let's see if we can persuade the Suns to tell us what's going on. That sounds perfect. Heirs to Galkin, side by side with the Slayer of Isormir. The Skalds will sing of this for generations. Careful. Skalds also sing of noble hunters dying grisly deaths. But with Wolf's help, we'll give them something better. See you there. Short gloves is what I got from one of the other things. Oh well. They're all equipped by me, no rewards that um that are useless. And I guess we'll go with some power. No wait, toughness. Onwards to glory. Raven's Beak, that's one bad statue. What are you talking about? It's incredible. The carving is flawless. I'm not questioning her skill, just her choice of subjects. That oaf doesn't deserve a monument. Well, that is incredibly mean, and I'll have no part in it. Explosions! Explosions! I know. I know. Hypocrite. But still. Wait a minute, I said yes to that dialogue. Just taking its time. Never mind. My bad. Where to next? Eastern Watchpost. Let's go. One thing I noticed about the uh, super duper dead form is that you don't have a health bar anymore. So it's quite possible that you're invulnerable while doing this, and I was supposed to just be quicker on becoming invulnerable while I was dying. Definitely seem to come out with the same health as you did before. Which is helpful if you have the minion summoned, but I'm not sure if going to the dead form de-summons the minion that could never been there when I got back out. Like so. Uh, 
Hunter, or whatever he was playing, not Dakota Fan. Let's see. Quest is right down the bottom again. No. Let's see. What else could we talk about while we're walking down? Well, uh, Necromancer. First impressions. Very true to the Necromancer and Guild Wars 1, of course. Loving the range of spells that are available per the weapons, but I'm not sure if that's going to irritate me later on. Um, hopefully there's some way of mixing and uh, matching a little bit later on. Maybe to gain us everything that we want. But maybe that's the point. Maybe you're just never supposed to have everything you want. And it's an it's a easy way of balancing things. Try and participate in this again. Go, go, go. Oh no, this sounds way more interesting. I strike Broodmother. as well. Oh yeah. Definitely seems to be identical to public quests in Warhammer Online and I absolutely loved those and, I, and I've never spoken to a person who turned around and said, oh I hated the public quests in, um, in Warhammer Online. It was always a very popular thing and yet you don't see it too much. It's pretty damn violent compared to the staff. I'm sure you have to get close, but it really deals the damage. I haven't exactly gained masses of, uh, of levels or anything since I was last down this end, so... Yeah, impressed. So that's what this green marker was for earlier when I walked all over it. Cool. And here she is. Suddenly, the world abandoned. Except for a bird. The sons of Svanir are close by. We can try talking to them, but they hate anyone who doesn't serve their dragon. And they utterly despise women. Maybe Garm should take the lead. Bad idea. Garm leads with his teeth. Well, well. Look, brothers. A stranger, a woman, and a mangy dog. It's like the beginning of a bad joke. We're here about Jotun worshipping the ice dragon near Grollenfjord. Go back to carving stones, Stagulkin. And take your dogs with you. Seems you boys didn't understand the lady. I'll say it slower. Tell us about the Jotun and the dragon. You should have left when you had the chance. Now you die. No, you don't. Like we're doing this the hard way. Garm, with me. Intruders! It's to Gulkin and the okay. Slayer of Isromir. Kill them both! Siphon life. Does what it says on the tin. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Channel spell. It's a lot like the spell that I've got when I'm dead. I'd have to call out of guess. Sacrifice this guy straight away for some help. And that brings the cooldown of my other life drain nicely in time with it. Die! Die an explosion! I guess I'll Stay detonate. Alert. There's another oh, wave coming. Okay. New pod. God damn, didn't explode him in time. Try to get the hotkey set up on my Razor Naga. Much quicker. 
fast is gone, so is everything else. I'm not making lots of headway here. Close New pets. Drain life. Gimme, 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 gimme. Explode, explode. That was so close. Man. Fight! You washed up has been. So I've got a wooden plank. <laughs> die, beer cake, die! So that you may know peace. Not really sure what the point of that is. Anyway, more pets. More, I say. Time to plank some people. Curse you learn dark pack to immobilize your foe. Okay. Oh, Great, I cast it on a beer barrel with tab target. Epic. That was possibly the, my grandest moment. This guy looked like it worked. Unfortunately, with my skills, I don't have too much to do once I've immobilized someone. Detonated both my pets though, and got the life back from the other pet. Life is good. This guy as well. Again, rather. Well done. Now let's see what their leader knows. Anything left to loot? No, but I'll inspect this. Hmm, a shrine, eh? I'll come back to that in a second. What do you know, mister? Start talking. Tell us how you converted the Jotun, or we'll whip you through the streets of Holbrick with a lash made of air's braids. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. I'd be slaughtered by my own comrades. Then tell us what we want to know. All right. We converted the giant king Korag. He converted his followers in Ozenfold Shear. This Korag sounds ambitious. The Jotun haven't had a giant king for centuries, and the last thing Holbrek needs is one that worships Jormag. Drag this fool to Holbrek and give him to the Wolfborn. I'll head for Ossenfold Shear and have a word with Korag, the giant king. Wolf Shaggy Hyde, you're a bold one. Be careful. There's glory in fighting impossible odds, but it's hard to brag when you're dead. Don't worry. We'll share a drink to victory in the Great Lodge when I return. Good hunting, Slayer. Jotun may be bigger, but you're better. Oh, am I now? Uh, but other than that, let's go with uh, let's go with some vitality on my chest piece. By the power of me. <laughs> By the power of Grayskull. Did I find any Radlers? So, quite, quite the, the list of weapons that I've still got skills to learn on.
I think we we'll use this first and unlock Wall of Doom in Locust form. I'll increase my charisma. Ah. Fight to the middle end. Um, hmm. Dignity. Let's build the shrine. Yeah, go on. Take that, shrine. Haha! Guess I'll break it as well, seeing as I have the option. Hello? What's all. What's all this then? Oh, thought it might be the door. Apparently not. This is quite difficult. Almost died a couple of times in there. Fine and fine. So I'm just going to temporarily stop my recording here to test the alt tabness of the game. I'll be right back. Hopefully. No crashy crashy. We hope you enjoyed this playthrough part, and watched it in 720p. Almost all of this page is interactable, linking to subscribe, the channel page, and the previous and next videos. Here are a few seconds to click to your destination.